Welcome everyone to my first MGTOW video. I've been watching MGTOW videos for at least two or three years and today I've decided to take the plunge and to make my own. So you can see what's on my mind and what things I think are important. I just want to say that I don't want to rehash some of the uh, things that have already been defined by other MGTOWs. I want to try and do new things and make new takes on on some of the interesting things going on in the world. So I really hope that this will be informative to you. Today I'm going to talk about rape as defined in New Zealand statute law. And this is a very interesting topic. The first reason is because only men can be rapists according to the New Zealand law. And that's actually shocking because if New Zealand had a constitution like America, then it would be unconstitutional to have a law that didn't apply to everyone. But since we don't have that constitution, they can actually write any law they want, and there's really nothing we can do about it. And the second shocking thing is how the definition of rape keeps changing. For example, a hundred years ago, the definition of rape was something like a strange man attacked and beat a woman, maybe made her unconscious, then had sexual connection with her and that was considered rape and then it suddenly changed to it could be her husband it suddenly changed to there was no need for physical injuries or physical force to be applied and that's a very scary change because firstly when you get married you get married to have sex you don't get married to stay a virgin so how can it be your husband who rapes you when you've agreed to marry this person and have sex with them. And secondly, with the goalposts keeping on changing now and you don't need physical injuries or physical um, wounds, how do you know it was rape? For example, she could have consensually had sex and then decided to extort money out of you or, or decided to get revenge on you. And it's extremely scary for men because a woman can never be charged for rape. I'm going to read you the statute. I've also used it as a picture on this video because I don't want any copyright issues. And I've got the link to the page in the low bar if any of you want to read it for yourselves, which is not a very interesting thing to do to read laws, but at least it's there as a reference. So here we are, section 128 of the Crimes Act 1961, subsection 2. Person A rapes person B if person A has sexual connection with person B, affected by the penetration of person B's genitalia by person A's penis. And then we've got part A, without person B's consent to the connection, and part B, without believing on reasonable grounds that person B consents to the connection. So this is total proof that only men can be rapists in New Zealand because only men have penises. And this is extremely worrying for men. Why aren't New Zealand men out in the streets protesting this? Why isn't there a big strike going on in the country because of this unjust law? Now that's a rhetorical question, and I'm not sure of the answer, but I suspect if you ask most men on the street, they wouldn't know about this law, they wouldn't know the definition of rape. And another reason is because of apathy, people just don't really seem to care about what laws are made anymore. I might do another video later on and ask people on the street and do some guerrilla style interviews, but for now, that's just my thoughts on the topic. Now, further on the statute, it specifically says that rape within marriage is, is against the law. And once again, it's only the husband, only the father who can be the rapist. Because I just told you the definition, it's when there's sexual connection affected by the penetration of a penis. So it's extremely scary because there's many situations that would normally be called rape but aren't aren't possible now because of this law for example a lesbian woman might 
abduct another woman and might tie her down and penetrate with other objects than a penis, and that can never be considered rape. Another scenario is a woman could tie a man up, forcibly drug him with Viagra to give him an erection, and then jump on him, and that could never be considered rape. And a, a really scary reason is being called a rapist is a terrible thing. It's probably the worst insult you could give to a man or a woman. But women could never be called rapists in New Zealand because of this one-sided horrible law. I'm really not sure how the situation has come to pass in New Zealand, but there's definitely no hope of it being changed in the foreseeable future. Nobody at the elections cares about men's rights. It's all what women want. For example, at the last election last year, the opposition party, the leader of the Labour Party, he went on television and said, I'm sorry, I'm a man. So you see, the politicians just pander to women, and it's gone on for so many years that we've got this terrible one-sided rape law. So guys, I'm going to call it quits now for today. I'm really interested to read any comments you might have below, and I'll try to get back and answer as many of them as possible. Okay, thanks for listening. Bye.